Wednesday morning, everyone, and welcome to AMHQ Early. I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagno. Um, so temperatures are warming back up. The two coldest days of the season are behind us. Today is going to be a warmer day. We'll have more on that. Look at Charleston, 56 degrees. Temperatures really warming up as we get just to the end of the week. And by the end of the weekend, New York City, we are back into the mid-50s. Not balmy, but warm and more than 10 degrees above average. But look at this. We got some uh, cold air coming back in by next week, and we'll have more on that. Let's go across the country right now, see what's happening. With Anna Good, Good morning. morning, Jen. Good morning to you at home. The freezing rain sending planes off a runway in Washington. I always wonder why they don't crash into each other, right? It's <laughs> yeah. all crowded together, one little spot. Um, all right, let's go to Chicago and talk about your day ahead. We've got temperatures heading to the upper 30s, going above average. Our cold days are behind us this week. We got another round of cold coming in this weekend, but for now, let's enjoy the weather we got coming our way. So today in Chicago, you're going to see some clouds out there to start your day. You can see right now any active weather is right here across the middle of the country, and it's very light. If anything, um, could be some light wintry precip. Watching Wichita, watching Kansas City, but again, light. Although light, if it's icy, you know, can still be slick, so be aware of that. Notice the winds coming out of the south, bringing up some warmer airs and also some moisture. So by the end of today in Minneapolis and Des Moines, we may see some very light snowfall. Again, light is the key, but Anything uh, out there on the roads that is icy could still be slick, even if it's light. So let's talk Minneapolis for you today. We've got the chance of the snow showers coming in later today. Our temperatures going up though, 31 degrees today, 34 degrees tomorrow. It's going to be some fog tomorrow morning. And then by Friday, we'll watch for some snow showers, but temperatures topping off about 33 degrees. That is above average week. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. And as always, we have your weekend in view. The West has been stealing all the headlines lately with the rain uh, we are looking at heavy rain again today along the western coast and we will see that rain cause some issues possible flooding again that's going to be something to really watch as we get through the rest of the week as another round lines up plus we got some active weather across the middle of the country moisture returning but look how the temperatures are changing and how that translates into rain uh, Chicago Detroit Cleveland New York City Atlanta it's all rain as everything presses east since temperatures are warming up but there is another round of really cold Arctic air coming back going sub-zero for high temperatures by the end of the weekend in the Midwest and that cold air is on. Speaking of mudslides here, it is now 20 minutes past the hour and we are your travel headquarters here on AMHQ Early. We want to make sure you're ready for travel today. Drivers in San Diego. The, the wheels for it because the, yeah. the, that was pretty high off the ground. And the know-how too. But you know, a dangerous situation, honestly, we don't recommend someone just going out True. with their car and helping to rescue people. He we are a professional driver. Yes, we are very concerned about heavy rain and flooding again today in Southern California. Just one of the trouble yeah. spots. And Southeast Florida, you were talking yeah. about the rains that are moving through Miami right now. We take a live look, not much to see because the sun's not up, but you're waking up to 69 degrees. I checked in with the Florida Department of Transportation. No accidents now, but you could see scenes like that out of San Diego, especially in places like Miami Beach. Which well, it is half past the hour as AMHQ Early rolls on. I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagno. So temperatures this morning are not as cold as they have been in the east. They're warming back up. The coldest two days of the season are behind us. It does get colder next week, but for now, we've got a warm up and we'll have more on that. But first, there it is. Oh, that's incredible. I mean, how cold does it really have to be to freeze a waterfall? I mean, well, significant, well right? Because moving water is, yeah, got some energy in itself. Um, freezing fountains in New York City. Saw Bryan Park. Really? Yesterday? Yes. So it's not as cold as that, but we've seen the Arctic air move in to parts yes, of the Northeast. Yes, we have, but it's going up now. Temperatures are about 15 degrees warmer right now um, in the Northeast than we were yesterday at this time. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. Um, you know, we had a dip in our jet stream. Now it's shifting back north, and that's going to allow the cold air, it's going to force the cold air to go back up north here into Canada. By the weekend, we'll see that cold air dip back down and the jet stream takes a dive right here in Montana, North Dakota, eventually Minnesota, the Western Lakes. You'll feel Arctic air, it's coming back. But in the meantime, when that happens, the ridge builds across the east and our temperatures warm back up. Not the crazy record-breaking December heat that we saw, but above average and a lot warmer than it's been the last two days. So here's what it means for the upper Midwest. Uh, we are above average today, tomorrow, um, and to some extent Friday, but then Saturday, the cold air really makes a comeback and high temperatures are going to be in the teens on Saturday. On Sunday, we go to zero. Best case scenario here in Minneapolis is we get in the single digits, but you're going to spend a lot of your day 
below zero. Uh, Chicago, same deal. Not that we're going below zero, but we are going to see temperatures uh, really dropping off after our big warm up. Mid 30s, 40s by Friday. Saturday, we've got uh, temperatures again in the 30s, but then it's a big drop off with temperatures only in the teens and low 20s for highs as we get you into this week. So we're going below average. Average high 31 degrees. It's normal, right, to be a little above, a little below, but we're going to see uh, some more extremes as we get into this weekend and then into next week. All right, anyways, let's talk more about the rain on the West Coast. Yeah.